What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here of Forza Horizon 4. We are in this little back, little like trailer park area because today we are going to be doing the Drift Club testing the drift skills that I have acquired so far in the game with some other cars that we have not tuned, what the uh, basically the game and the NPCs have tuned. So we are going to go get into them. I did test these with Urgent Recall 24. So I think some of them might be complete, but we're going to do it from the beginning to end here at the Drift Club. So we're going to get into it. We're going to go solo. Select chapter. Yeah, okay, so those did count when I did them with Urgent even before I had it unlocked. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do them again anyways. So Drift Club is kind of cool because you get to try a bunch of different cars that you have not tuned. So it'll definitely test my skills that I've acquired in this Hello, game for drifting. Uh, Don't need to tell me your name, and this Joel Welshy man over that. here, Robert. I, I gathered a group of like-minded drivers together here at the festival, and so I we're going to get into this, more. get sideways, we're have some fun. Club, we are on a Logitech G920, well, 900 degrees of rotation, yes. hydraulic cam brakes, sequential like shifter rush, mod, NRG innovations, 350 millimeter full size Why wheel. take my old Nissan 240 out and see which you enjoy better? Okay, I will take your Nissan 240 out. Even though you're on race tires. The first thing to do, really, is go into your car settings and switch off the traction control. It might be a button, or it might need a pair of pliers and a pair of tape, but it must be the <laughs> traction. I forgot he did say that. Drifting. Pair of pliers. I'm gonna mod you this a little bit just to get mm. used to the no car some. But do I need to explain again about power to weight ratios? No, you don't need to explain because I almost beat your cha I already beat your challenge before I even got into the first turn. A little clutch kick out. There we go. Yeah, I've already beaten your uh, your little drift challenge, Mister, in your 240, before I even really uh, got onto this track section. Can you break in. Outstanding. Now let's really shred those tires. See how much we can actually get. This car handles pretty well. I did like this car the first time I did try this with Urgent. Oh, don't lose it. Oh wait. I could definitely lose that a little bit. The car does come out and get me every so often. But I also am not familiar with like the way the car is set up. It, it makes a big difference when the car is not your own tune or a tune that you drive a lot. Like I should have been able to take that turn without blowing off the tires. But you made me wear what? I didn't catch what he said. I think that was some derogatory word. Oh, you gotta go this way. We were way too fast for that, but we are at 177,000. Wow. If you guys did complete the Drift Club, what's your highest uh, scores on these events? Because uh, I know my buddy Urgent uh, is tagging some, uh, one, I believe, one million point of event on one of these Drift Clubs. So we do got to make sure we finish those. So I got to make sure I... Uh, get some speed going and finish this event I'm trying to e-brake that in I was trying to hold that a little bit better but apparently not so we still should be able to complete this with plenty of time as long as we didn't hit that house so first drift club event do I like the car it's definitely different I got my hand crossed up there and breaking my wrist kind of cutting the grass to make sure I finish this so First car, eh, it's okay. I'm Not sure a fan of an R35 swap or uh, really the race tires, but we will take our three stars. No, we've already got it, but I wanted to get it myself because last time I did it with Urgent, it was by a team, and the team score was like totally high. So, and we're still going to get money for it over that 1.5 million mark now. Should have been a lot higher, but I've been... Uh, Buying and tuning some cars here recently. So as for like the GTR or the uh, the BRZ and the Challenger, I think we're gonna actually skip those, even though we haven't done them. We're gonna go to another one, and we are gonna continue on the story since we already do technically have those three stars. We're gonna move on to the fourth chapter. I don't know what car this is, but uh. Still should be fun. The BRZ, 
Eh, it was not There's that great of a handling car. Drift clubs been S2000. I think you've earned the right to have first crack and show off a little, what you reckon? Hmm. I've thrown on new high grip front tires, tuned the throttle response in the computer, and lowered it on firm springs. Well, if you get a show off, and so do I. Huh. High grip front tires? I've put in a route down to the old rail yard. I think you'll see what I'm getting at. So, I did like the S2000 in uh, Horizon 3. So let's see how this sounds. This thing sounds good. See how this works. It got very loose. I thought he said he put stiff suspension in here. It feels very, uh, very floaty. And that wing is just shaking. I should probably be manging these to get more points, but I feel like we should have no problem getting the drift points. I he breaks in way too early on that one. So it is very different for me to be driving cars that I have not set up myself. So getting used to these cars in the short period of time that I get to drive them is actually very complicated. So this is definitely testing the uh, versatility of my uh, drift skills that I have here, if any. That's what I like to see. Now I would like to see more, please. Okay. This is really a just straight manji section, which you know is quite complicated on a wheel here. Manjing on a wheel in Horizon 4 is definitely a uh, complicated thing, and now we're on dirt. Oh god. Well, at least we've already beaten the 70, but I think we have to get 120 or 200 or something for three stars. So, I don't think that's going to happen because I probably should have been Manjing a lot more on the straights. I'm just going to try and get as many points as we can in the dirt. I don't think we're going to get three stars. I totally missed my entrance. I was not paying attention. Oh, what? Off road? Fabulous. Drift clubbers, take note. What? Came from. Why is this not on any type of ground? No rush, do drift club proud. I'm so confused right now. So I don't think really we got three stars. I was confused on where that route went, so we, we have to try that one again, seriously. probably, we but we will do it another time. Nice Gonna move on to the next one, because that, anyway, that, no not that. a fan of having a manji all the way down straights. But we're going to have to do it to get three stars on this, because you know I'm not going to let Drift Club go by without having completed full stars. So we're going to move on to the next one and uh, see what we can do in uh, the other car that we're going to be given. But now we did advance in Drift Club. So it did give me the stuff when I worked with Urgent. So that's kind of good to see that it gave me all those stars, even though I didn't have it unlocked yet. As soon as it became unlocked, it was given to us. So it's kind of cool. So now we're going to go into the next one since we're here. Solo. Next chapter. What kind of car you got for me this time? I know a lot of people have probably done the drift clubs already, but uh, I haven't. First time here, so. Well, first ish. Onwards Ooh, and upwards, eh? That's 14. We'll take a longer drift drive this time. Show drift clubbers the skills and technical challenges involved in covering that sort of distance. 98 Sylvia K, 2.6 liter, inline six, and the full Rocket Bunny Boss kit. He got it right. I was worried he wasn't going to get the boss kit right, but he got it right. All right. Remember when I talked about too much power? This is too much power. You really shouldn't need to floor it. Watch the rear. It's slippy. If it comes out, you're using too much power. I thought, I thought the purpose of this was to drift. Not, and so why would, if the rear end comes out, it's using too much power? I don't feel this car has too much power, but I feel like we should probably be manging all these things to get as many points as we can. It's gonna take a lot of hand movement, but we also gotta make sure we get to the excuse me, get to the end and actually finish the uh, event or uh, all of our 
efforts will be for nothing. Do a quick breakdown, there we go. So it is very different to me to use cars that I have not tuned or built myself. So not something I'm very fond of doing. I don't, well, I'm not that I'm not fond of it, but usually when I drive other people's tunes, it takes me a while to get used to them or it takes me a little bit to get used to it. And these drift clubs, that machine is capable of more. And so are you. I of course I'm capable of more, but we only get a few minutes in each one of these cars, not enough time to really get super comfortable with the car. And I'm noticing a trend with all these drift club events. I'm noticing it's it's a lot of money. Friction is what everyone wants to see. Not actual friction, of course, because that's an invisible force. There's no way to see an invisible force. No, there is no way to see an invisible force, dude. I swear he's probably high on like tires or something. What you can see, however, is clouds of Ooh. smoke from tires. That came out from under me. Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit for those who prefer imperial measurements, of course. So that's a tree. But we did get some knowledge based on that, so I have to make up some time here to make sure we at least finish this event. So instead of monging this, we're gonna go just uh full throttle if we can. Some high speed. High speed quick corners. I feel like we should be okay though. We have a minute and a half and we have 1.4 miles. Uh, I wish we were going up those uh, the hairpins to bring us to them, but we're gonna go right past them, which is sad because I feel like they should do some runs on the hairpins. Maybe they will in the later ones, yards. hopefully. Turn right. At the fourth. Turn right. Oh, don't hit that bus or van or whatever that was. That was scary. I didn't know what it was, but I know it was gonna hurt if I hit it. So are those rocks. So 291k definitely could do a lot better. But like I said, manjing nice. definitely something nice. hard like on. Uh, work particularly this uh on a wheel in this game on a controller manjing is probably a lot easier what did you make of that so we're gonna finish after five is that three stars that's only two stars this is sad so i need to manji them a lot more to get these three stars so we're gonna do another one here maybe do one or two more but testing my skills today for sure in all these different cars not a much time to practice on them don't know what car they are, don't know how they handle. Throwing myself into this with a lot of manjis, I'm noticing. So I gotta throw this wheel a lot, back and forth. But we will get another level, level six. 50k, I will take it. What? Ooh, I like that Drift Club shirt. I think I might have to rock that Drift Club shirt if I get it. Well, I will get it probably after the next one. So if you guys like and are enjoying these Forza Horizon 4 videos, which you seem to be, you guys keep coming back, appreciate all the support. We're going to go into our next story. Don't know what kind of car. What kind of car is it? Please be something good. Maybe. I feel like they're all good, but give me something I would prefer. Maybe something. Oh, wait. Ever tried drifting oh. uphill? It's quite a skill. I'll admit I'm useless, oh, sorry. Oh, boy. But you're going to show Drift Club it can be done. And I found just the spot for it. All-wheel drive? And just the car. Borrowed this from Jay Min at the festival. Nice young fella. If a little All right, this is gonna definitely Had challenge because I don't do a lot of all-wheel drive drifting. Over to you. So here we go. A nice technical drive on mixed road surfaces. I do love the technical ones. We're gonna get a hundred thousand points in an all-wheel drive car. This is gonna be something. I gotta not throw so much counter steer. Yeah, this is gonna be this is probably gonna be one of the hardest ones I do today. Because all-wheel drive is not my strong suit for drifting on pavement or purposely trying to drift. I always counter steer way too much and uh causes me to uh overcorrect because uh I'm countering like I'm in a real drive car when you don't have to counter that much in an all-wheel drive car. Hopefully we'll get to some dirt, but 
feel like this is called Drift Club, not a... Uh... Balance is key. Steer and counter steer. Enough throttle to push the power slide, enough brake to hold your grip. You know, I really should be writing these bits of wisdom down somewhere. You, you probably should not give me an all-wheel drive car, is what you shouldn't do. But, you know. At least we are close to getting that 100k now. How's when we may do a little bit better, because we are going to be on dirt now. So as long as we can keep control of the car on dirt, which we should be able to, but with the roads being narrow, I'm not sure. This is actually uh, quite difficult. I know people are probably watching this like, oh my god, I've, I got like 400, 500k on this dirt section in this car because, you know. Well. Now the rubber's warm. Let's keep going, shall we? At least I got the 100k. I'm just trying to not totally uh, lose the car because all-wheel drive, not my forte. When it comes to purposely trying to slide. On the uphill, you're fighting traction loss, burning power, and still relying on momentum to carry you through. Though I'm sure you're taking all this into account already. Ah, uh, yeah, buddy. Not really. I like how, uh... Oh, definitely uh, a tricky bit. As that hurts, too. So, like I said, all the drive drifting. Not really my thing. If it is your thing, let me know down there. Let me know what you guys got on this uh, little all-wheel drive drift club part because uh, all-wheel drive not my thing. I mean, rally racing definitely is okay with me, but purposely trying to slide the car, not my thing. If I'm just trying to race, like a race maybe, and it starts to slide on me, that's a whole nother story. But purposely trying to slide it. Like Jim Connor style, not really my thing yet. Definitely something I'm uh, working more towards with the uh, snow season right around the corner. That was a little bit better. There we go. Woo! A lot of hand movement. I just kind of want to be done with this all-wheel drive one. Oh gosh. So, 200K, probably good enough for two stars, which is, seems to be the standard for today's episode. Because, you know, I need my buddy Urgent to get those three stars because he's a manji king. Now, some people claim that you have to use rear wheel drive cars to drift. That is simply not true. Because it's not some drifting one star. Oh, jeez. Drifting, if you prefer, come from stage rally, and some of them predate Mr. Takahashi. Ooh, they threw Takahashi in here. I didn't know they threw Takahashi in here. All right, well, so tax in this game, I guess, in a sense. So all the drive drifting, number thing, but uh, it's kind of sad that we only got one star. So hopefully the next one is not all wheel drive. Probably do one more here for today's episode and finish them up on another episode, or just finish them up off session if you guys like these videos let me know down in the comment section down below you know follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram i'll have you found in the description box below let's see what our final poll on car is please be something rural drive please forza forza gods something so, all right also claim that japanese or american cars i can get down with a volvo for functional oversteer this is also not true you're a drift club we find drift machines in all sorts of odd places. Sweden, for instance. This is the Volvo 242 Turbo okay. Evolution. Let's do featuring it. Featuring a few little adjustments of my own. I think you'll find it more than adequate. Probably. It's got some 1552s on there or HRE splits. Though, though, uh, you're welcome to have a little fun on the way. Whoa. This thing definitely gets sideways. And I like the way we're going already. I don't like the fact that we're on dirt. But this car handles pretty well. 
this will uh, suffice for a nice uh, slidey, 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 if I can stay on track. Probably not suited for dirt, so hopefully we get off the dirt here in a moment. There we go. Now we're on some dryish, wettish pavement. Volvo Turbo. Didn't want to initiate like I thought I was going to. To try to throw some manjis, but don't hit that. Don't hit that guy. Almost missed my turn. Really off road again. Ugh. I feel like a lot of these roads would be so much nicer if they were paved. And it kind of makes me sad that a lot of these roads are not paved. And it also kind of makes me sad that this drift club is going off road. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We're going to go off the mountain. Please don't. Oh. We need to save ourselves. So, Drift Club, definitely uh, a challenge for me right now, given maybe I'm not at my best or peak driving abilities right now, but, and also this dirt is pretty uh, pretty loose on this back end of the car. I can see what a lot of people are having problems with on dirt, with uh, not being able to control the car, because this wheel does not have much feel right now. And I think it just has something to do with the dirt. So. We're probably going to end it here. If you guys enjoy it and you want to see more, let me know in the comment section down below. You guys seem to enjoy these videos. So until next time, I like thank you guys for watching and coming back and watching these videos. So as always, I appreciate it. And I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time. That's a treat. Oh, we missed it. Oh.